Military families are the backbone of our nation. So, in addition to everything else, as you see, I did the promotion of military spouse hiring across the federal government. Fact is, I've done a lot. I could, I could. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. That's a lot. <laughs> well, President Trump visiting with Marines yesterday, highlighting his administration's efforts to improve veterans' care. Our own Pete Hegseth, co-host of Fox & Friends Weekend, is here to break down some of the accomplishments and what still needs to be done. All right, so he's done a lot. Yes. What's he done? So he, he, he makes a joke, you know, I've done a lot, but he, he really, really has. First of all, no president in modern history, and I've talked to some presidential historians about this, has made veterans and veterans' issues a top-tier part of their campaign. So from the beginning, he said, this matters to me. It's going to be a focus of why I, I get elected and what I execute on. Right. Immediately, he gets the Veterans Accountability Act passed, which allows them to fire poor performing uh, managers at the VA. And then the, cho the Mission Act, which gives veterans more choice. I'll tell you this. I was on the phone yesterday about it. They're still writing the rules about choice. The bureaucracy has to write it. The White House is very attuned to making sure that the bureaucrats at the VA don't, don't undo choice and try to turn it into something more bureaucratic. They're very focused on it. They still need to deliver on that. But on the VA side, vets are seeing finally an emphasis that he promised and a culture there that's focused on delivering on the president's message. So you think the president's going to go out to California. Do you think it would be great for him to go to the border and also visit those 5,000 troops? That oh, I think so, too. I mean, I, I, there's a... As far as the de defense is concerned, troops feel like they've got a commander in chief that has their back, uh, like they have a clearer mission, a sense of what that is. And I think James Mattis going down there yesterday underscored that also. He said, this is like a deployment, but it's, it's defending your own country. Mm -hmm. The things you're learning here are exactly the type of things you'll do overseas. I also, in the, in the, in the intro, talked about military spouses, love the fact this president is focusing on the families of those who serve uh -huh. and making sure they get federal hiring preferences. Mm -hmm. Well, did you hear what John Kerry said? He went across the pond, he's talking to British media, and he said this about our hmm. president. Listen. I think people are tired of what's happening. They're tired of the embarrassment of what took place in Paris in the last few days. Okay. Uh, we can't have a, a you know, sort of truculent uh, uh, child president. We need something serious. President, what's your reaction? Yeah, he's a buffoon. Uh, I, I, I really, I really think it, he talks about childishness. You know what's childish is when your ally gets, uh, when Charlie Hebdo gets attacked and people are massacred in a terrorist attack, and your serious response is to bring James Taylor over there to play his guitar and say, "You've got a friend in me, and I'm going to give you a hug." What about when the president chose to uh, watch football instead of going over to France and standing in unity with the other European allies after that? Exactly. And what about the a former Secretary of State who understands that it is your job not to go overseas and disparage your commander in chief? while he's executing foreign policy. I mean, listen, John Kerry will always be the guy who hucked his medals into the river and undercut the guys he served with by saying they committed war crimes, giving propaganda to the enemy. This is a guy whose compass has been off for, for his entire time in public service, and you see it even more here. He doesn't agree with the president, so he throws him under the bus and calls him a child overseas. It is the s simple-minded, childish policies of the Obama administration that created so much of the mess they've had to undo since. He'll never see that, but that's the truth. I don't think you like him. I'm just not a fan. Saying, right. Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, and especially the venue in which you get it is uh, just terrible. Because, yes. Because uh, between international and international and between our uh, former uh, Obama officials going over, ripping the president, they think that uh, in America we view for that. We have that view. No, of course. They think that's the overwhelming view, and, uh, and they don't get Fox News Channel always over there, so they don't see the whole, there you whole go. picture. All right. Pete, we'll be watching you this weekend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. On this couch.